Hey guys, Josh from ThroughMyLens.com. Today we're spending 24 hours in Cannon Beach, Oregon. Cannon Beach is a small coastal town in northwest Oregon that's super popular for visitors because of its famous Haystack Rock. I've been to this town a few times, but on a recent trip I decided to make a video and share some of my favorite spots that you can experience in one day. Hey guys, it's 9 a.m. We got a spot in the parking lot. Gonna get some coffee and a pastry, explore the town a little bit, see what there is to do. If you're in the south part of the city, I recommend Sleepy Monk. They have great coffee and even better pastries. If you're in the north part of the city, I usually go to Insomnia though, as they have a few locations between Cannon Beach and Portland and I've been going there for years. The benefit of Insomnia is you're basically a block from the beach, so you can take your coffee down here to drink it. The city of Cannon Beach is pretty small with only 4 miles of total length, so you're always pretty close to some good restaurants and to the beach. For most people, after coffee, the next order of business is exploring the town. Here are a few of my favorite spots to check out. First up, if you're here on the weekend, head over to Ice Fire Glassworks. This glass blowing shop is one of my favorite stops in the city as they're often actually blowing the glass right in front of you and there's a big area where you can sit and watch. Next up, head over to Cannon Beach Distillery. They've been making spirits for over seven years and there's many different ones that you can try when you go in. My last recommendation in the downtown area is the Cannon Beach History Museum. It's only a short walk from the distillery and it has great exhibits, including an exhibit on the actual cannon from which Cannon Beach gets its name. From here, what you'll want to do depends on your personal style. There's lots of shops and art galleries you can check out. Or of course you can hang out at the beach. We're coming here for sunset though, so hopefully this clears up before then. Of course the beach is always a popular option with Haystack Rock in the distance, but it wasn't a very nice day to be sitting out in the sand when I was there. I'm gonna head out to Hug Point State Park right now and then we're gonna get lunch afterwards. Hug Point State Park is located five miles south of Cannon Beach and it's a must visit for most people as it's a beautiful beach with easy access. It's known as Hug Point because the stagecoaches had to travel along the beach before the highway was built, and this area has a large rock that juts out and so you had to hug the point to get around it. This is Hug Point State Park. Sometimes during low tide you can get behind that rock and there's a little waterfall and cave back there. You can't right now, but here's some clips of last time I was here. Back to Cannon Beach for lunch. Lunch brought us back to Cannon Beach to visit one of my favorite spots, the Cannon Beach Hardware Store and Public House. It's an eclectic spot with a full hardware store inside, but it definitely has some of the best chicken wings I've ever had in Oregon. I recommend you get a large order and have half salt and pepper and half buffalo style. I'm not sure that was good hiking food, but if you like wings, that's definitely where it's at. We're heading to Ecola right now and the weather's supposed to clear up. We're gonna do a short hike. Next up, we drove about 10 minutes north to Ecola State Park. If you're only able to go to a few spots while you're in Cannon Beach, definitely make this one of them as the viewpoint here is one of the most beautiful along the entire coastline. I decided to hike down to Crescent Beach while I was there as the sun came out and it was a beautiful day. Heading out on the trail to Crescent Beach. The trail is only two miles round trip with about 400 feet of elevation and it's beautiful and green as it makes its way down to the beach. Look at how crazy this view is. I'm like a quarter mile from the trailhead. Even if you only make it to this viewpoint, it's worth the short hike as it gives you a great view of Haystack Rock and the beach below. Watch out, this trail gets super muddy after the rain. The trail continues through the forest and as someone who hikes in brown Southern California, the green was amazing to see. Definitely consider this hike if you get a chance. It's really nice and green on the inside with beautiful coastal views. Plus it's only two miles and 200 feet of elevation. Crescent Beach, that way. 
From here, it's basically just a steep downhill towards the beach, so make sure to save your energy for the way up. The trail continues down a few more switchbacks before ending at one of the most beautiful beaches I've been to in a long time. Check it out, we made it to Crescent Beach and I'm the only one here. This view right here is the reason why I love this beach. I'll zoom in and you can see Haystack Rock right between those two rocks right there. All right, we're heading back to the car. We're gonna go get dinner and then sunset at Haystack Rock. I had to stop again on the way up. This view is insane. From the park, it was a short 10 minute drive back into town to get dinner. Made it into downtown Cannon Beach. I got a parking spot. We're going to get fish tacos or fish and chips, whatever you prefer. Tom's Fish and Chips is one of my go-to spots for a well-priced dinner that's family friendly while I'm in the city. It's nothing crazy, but the food's good and it's always consistent. Cheers. After dinner, the sun was starting to set and it was back to the parking lot on Gower Avenue to head over to Haystack Rock. Last stop of the day, Haystack Rock for sunset. Even though I've been here many times, I still never get tired of seeing the 235 foot tall Haystack Rock. There's so many great views up and down the coastline with great reflections as the ocean water recedes. I spent a good hour and 15 minutes waiting for the sun to go down and just taking it in from all the different angles. I cannot stop taking photos, the sunset is so good. Definitely make the time to get here for a sunset if you have the opportunity to. And just like that, the sun's down. Thanks for exploring Cannon Beach with me. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next video.